Hello, I'm Al Bowden, president of Sencor. Sencor has two pieces of exciting news for you, whether you're in audio servicing now or are planning to add audio servicing shortly. First, audio servicing is growing faster than any other part of the service industry. Secondly, Sencor has a brand new line of audio equipment to help you reap maximum benefit for this rapid growth. This video program takes you through the new SG80 AM Stereo FM Stereo Analyzer. Before we explain the SG80, however, I'd like to take just a minute to share with you the reason that Sencor is so confident about the new potential for profits that audio service provides. We noticed a significant event back in 1986. The Electronic Industries Association statistics showed us that the 1986 sales of audio equipment actually surpassed color television for the first time ever. Since then, audio has continued to surpass other products year after year. Now, this was no small occurrence since color TV had really been the king of consumer electronics for many years. The explosion in sales back then affect those of us in servicing today. You see, the need for more service follows an increase in sales by about three years. That's why Sencor is now introducing its second generation of audio servicing instrumentation. Whether you are updating equipment or possibly adding audio capabilities to your shop for the first time, the SG80 helps you service audio better. Let's take a look and see just how. Audio customers have come to expect a lot from their stereos, especially if their systems include CD players. They expect to hear CD quality music in their home or auto sound system. How can you be certain that your service work provides the quality your customer expects? Consider a few examples where your current equipment might leave questions. FM tuners now have better sensitivity, lower noise, and better stereo separation than ever before. Can you confirm they work correctly? One third of all factory installed car radios now have Motorola Sequam AM stereo. Many of today's receivers have better performance than the AM and FM generators of a few years ago. If so, the radio is testing the generator instead of the other way around. Does your present audio equipment fall short of modern hi-fi standards? To learn more, let's see which circuits have the biggest impact on your need for high-quality test signals. Receiver designers improved all three main receiver sections, the front ends, IF amplifiers, and stereo decoders. For example, many receivers now use digitally tuned front ends. Most IF stages use ceramic filters. Some even have two, three, or more user-selectable IF bandwidths. Digitally based stereo decoders now give better separation and less distortion than ever before. Plus, manufacturers are developing new modulation methods which promise to make FM even better in the future. Some are already available on a limited basis. Sencor's all-new SG80 AM Stereo FM Stereo Analyzer meets all of the needs of today's high-performance receivers and tuners, as well as preparing you for tomorrow. It is one fully integrated AM FM Stereo Analyzer that meets or exceeds manufacturers' requirements for every testing and servicing need. It is your bench standard to give you confidence, knowing that the service is done right the first time, every time. 
The SG-80 generates patented FM analyzing signals that let you quickly divide and conquer any FM receiver defect. These signals can be injected into any RF, IF, or multiplex decoder stage to isolate defects quickly. The performance of these signals is even better than most FM broadcast stations to confirm every receiver meets manufacturer's specifications. For the first time, the SG-80 includes CQAM AM stereo signals in an integrated AM-FM unit. The Motorola licensed signals let you service CQAM stages as easily as non-stereo radios. All SG-80 signals have digital accuracy to fully test receiver performance. This calls for signals that are accurately produced, precisely controlled, and free from noise. The SG-80's exclusive tunable FM sweep generator lets you positively match and align all IF stages, including those with variable bandwidths. Expanded FM features equip you for today and the future. It is expandable if an extended FM system like FMX is ever accepted as standard. The SG-80 gives you twice the capability at less than half the cost of any other system. And the SG-80 becomes a part of a complete AM-FM audio workstation when you combine it with Sencor's other audio analyzers. To understand how the SG-80 lives up to all of these promises requires more detail. Let's take a look. <laughs> First, the SG-80 is a fully integrated AM and FM stereo analyzer. You use the same methods to test or troubleshoot AM or FM problems. What's the benefit of this? Simplified operation. You use one test lead for all of your testing and servicing, making the SG-80 easy to learn, easy to use. The FM side of the function switch provides RF signals for the receiver's front end, IF signals for the intermediate frequency stages, and multiplex signals for the stereo decoder. The AM side produces an RF signal for the front end and a composite IF signal for the IF and CQAM circuits. One precision attenuator controls every signal. You can drop the signal to a tiny three-tenths of a microvolt for sensitivity testing, or you can push 250,000 microvolts through the cable to test overload conditions or to service IF stages. The output is calibrated in microvolts and in decibels referenced to one femtowatt, or dBF. These two calibrations meet all manufacturer's specifications. The digital RF and IF generators confirm that even the most accurate digital tuner works correctly. You may have heard that digital generators are less reliable than conventional LC oscillators. That was true before the SG-80, but Sencor found a way to combine digital accuracy and low noise by using four separate RF generators to cover the FM band. The RF tuning knob has two speeds. One changes frequencies a channel at a time, while the other moves in one-tenth of a channel steps. Simply press the tuning knob to switch between the two speeds. The fine adjustment tests automatic fine tuning, adjacent channel rejection, and so on. The SG-80 provides signal injection troubleshooting. Signal injection has been time proven by over 15 years of success with the Sencor SG-165 AM-FM stereo analyzer. To use signal injection, 
you inject a known good replacement signal at each test point. The bad stage is the one that gives improved performance when injecting at its output, and a bad result when injecting at its input. Since the SG80's substitution signal includes full stereo modulation, you can even use it to identify frequency restrictions or phase distortions which affect stereo performance. Since many ceramic IF filters are tuned to frequencies other than 10.7 MHz, the SG80 lets you rock the IF generator frequency. You match the SG80 to the filters in the circuit and simply read the digital display to evaluate filter performance. The SG80's AM IF generator lets you tune to either standard frequency 262 or 455 kHz. The SG80's exclusive audio drive signal lets you inject into any stage after the audio detector. In addition, the signal's phase can be reversed for tests in the stereo matrix. This drive signal uses the swamping method used successfully in Sencor video analyzers for more than a decade. Swamping lets you feed the good signal into a stage swapping out the original questionable signal. The result is fast, reliable circuit analyzing. As you use the SG80's analyzing features, you will see what makes it different from conventional generators. Generators only let you confirm specifications. The SG80 does that, plus helps you quickly find defective stages. Many of today's FM receivers work so well that they exceed the performance of a typical broadcast transmitter. That's why Sencor had to invent a brand new way to generate stereo signals. The signals had to be better than broadcast quality. Sencor's patented system feeds the audio into digital memory and then uses a microprocessor to maintain the precise phase relationship between the subcarrier, its sidebands, and its pilot. Since the process is digital, there are no tuned circuits or phase shifting networks to drift. The stereo signals are always correct. Motorola's CQAM format has become the de facto standard of AM stereo. CQAM circuits need test signals with precise phasing between the main carrier, stereo subcarrier, and pilot. The SG80 produces signals that meet Motorola's exacting standards. Since the AM signals are supplied in the same form as the FM signals, the SG80 gives you the unique ability to use the same signal injection to repair CQAM or non-stereo receivers. The SG80 is a complete performance tester as well. Performance testing helps you troubleshoot better since you know which functions work correctly from the start. After fixing all defects, certifying the receiver's specs gives you added billing on every invoice for higher service profits. Performance testing calls for precise control of the high quality signals. First, the SG80's output attenuator is accurate to one decibel. It is adjustable in 0.1 dB steps for precise control. This lets you test sensitivity, muting, stereo blend, signal to noise, FM quieting, and so on with complete reliability.
second, the digital tuning ensures accurate results. Unlike other generators, the digital tuning wraps around the ends of the band, just like most digital receivers. Third, the SG-80 modulator adds less than 0.01% distortion to the test signals. You can use it with a distortion meter if you wish. Fourth, the internal audio generator meets all testing needs. You can quickly check performance across the audio band. The 400 Hz sine wave is used for most AM tests. The 1 kHz and 5 kHz signals confirm that FM de-emphasis circuits work correctly. The exclusive square wave modulation signals let you spot problems that otherwise need a slow and complicated audio sweep test. By watching for square wave distortion on your oscilloscope or waveform analyzer, you confirm the receiver has proper performance at all audio frequencies. The modulation level is adjustable for dynamic tests at low or high modulation levels. You adjust the pilot modulation separately to confirm proper stereo sensitivity. The digital modulation meter lets you maintain correct levels at any combination of audio and pilot modulation. You may add standard 75 microsecond pre-emphasis to any internal or external signal. This FCC specified pre-emphasis lets you check the receiver's de-emphasis circuits. Leaving the internal pre-emphasis turned off lets you use audio sources that have their own pre-emphasis or noise reduction circuits. The AM-FM multiplex mode switch selects the modulation needed to test the stereo circuits. The monaural position removes the pilot to confirm the FM receiver properly switches to the non-stereo mode. The stereo position applies a broadcast type signal including external signal sources. You can, for example, supply audio from a tape deck or a CD player to dynamically check performance. The L plus R mode forces all modulation to the receiver's main L plus R channel with no signal in the stereo difference or L minus R channel. The L minus R position is just the opposite with all modulation in the stereo difference channel and none in the main channel. Both of these signals let you isolate stereo decoder problems. The final two positions let you fully check stereo separation. The SG-80 sends a signal to the right or the left channel only to measure how much crosstalk leaks into the other channel. The SG-80 gives you the high standards needed for performance testing. This added performance also gives you better signals for troubleshooting. The SG-80's new IF sweep signal tests the latest IF circuits. First, you can use the SG-80 like a conventional FM sweep generator with fixed markers at 10.7, 10.6, and 10.8 MHz. But today's receivers limit the use of conventional sweep signals. Ceramic IF filters often have center frequencies some distance from the 10.7 megahertz or the 100 kilohertz side markers are not spaced correctly for the outer skirts of IF stages with two, three or more tuning bandwidths. When you encounter either of these conditions simply turn the RF IF tuning knob. This moves the center marker to any frequency you want. 
If, for example, you are working with ceramic filters, move the control until the large center marker is sitting at the top of the alignment curve. Then, look up at the digital display to find out the true IF frequency. This exclusive feature lets you dynamically check the operation of any IF circuit. Many FM receivers have adjustable SCA traps, which prevent interference between the stereo signal and the SCA subcarriers. The SG80's SCA adder lets you quickly confirm that these traps have been properly adjusted. If you work on SCA receivers, you can also use this signal to check their operation. An internal adjustment lets you set the subcarrier to any frequency between 53 and 95 kilohertz. The SG80 also leaves room for improvements in the FM signal. You can have Sencor's service department add circuitry when and if expanded FM becomes commonplace. The front panel already has the switch needed to control the extended FM. This keeps you up to date for future expansion. The SG80 has twice the performance at half the price compared to standard generators or other audio equipment. First, the SG80 accepts external audio. You can tie the SG-80 into other audio equipment or CD players with full stereo performance. Second, if you are considering automation, the SG-80 can be tied to virtually any computer. Two Sencor accessories let you connect the SG-80 to a system based on the IEEE-488 or the RS-232 computer interface. Third, the SG-80 has the same aesthetic design as the Sencor PA-81 and the PM-82. You can mix and match these units in whatever combination you want. By itself, the SG-80 does a complete job of AM and FM performance testing and circuit analyzing. Coupled with the Sencor amplifier analyzers, you can also service pre-amplifiers and power stages. If you only work with amplifiers of less than 100 watts, the Sencor SR-68 stereo readout unit may be adequate. If your work also includes amplifiers from 100 to 250 watts per channel, you will probably find that the PA81 power amplifier analyzer better fills the bill. Or, if you work on the really large systems, adding the PM82 power max to your PA81 lets you use the same dynamic tests on amplifiers up to 5,000 watts. By making the meters separate from your AM-FM analyzer, you have full versatility in your testing methods. There's one more thing you should know about the SG-80. You get all of its performance for less than half the price of comparable functions from competitive companies. Take a look at these figures to see what I mean. You would need seven separate instruments to get the equivalent functions of RSG-80. You would need an accurately controlled RF generator. You would need an AM generator with CQAM, an FM multiplex generator, a sweep and marker generator, a low distortion audio generator, a function generator, and an RF level meter. The minimum these units would cost you would be at least $11,500. The price of the SG-80, only $39.95, or almost one-third the price. Not only do you save money, 
the SG80 gives you better efficiency than seven separate pieces. You get one cable hookup and full analyzing capabilities to isolate bad stages faster. For more information about the SG80 or any of Sencor's audio servicing equipment, simply call your Sencor sales engineer so he can reserve an SG80 for you. And remember, after you get it, you have 30 full days to decide if it does everything that we say it will. If you're not totally convinced, simply return it for a full refund under our standard 30-day money-back guarantee. So pick up that phone and dial 1-800-CENCOR from the United States or from Canada for complete details.